What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite masked figures. So this was probably one of my most difficult top five lists to create because, I mean, it's just tough in general because there's there's so many figures that I have and there's so many great ones. And I wanted to narrow it down to just masked wrestlers. So wrestlers who wrestled in a mask. I'm not including um, things like removable entrance masks, like say Andrade or Demolition, because I would love to add Demolition things like that it was masked wrestlers which makes it pretty difficult to narrow down um no face paint that's something separate just masked wrestlers and there's a lot you know like uh we got tons of Rey Mysterios we got um Hayabusa here we have a bunch of Mexican wrestlers um Lucha Libre of the reaction figures we've got the CMLLs down there there's a bunch and this is my top five favorites doesn't have to be yours and i'm sure number five is going to irk some people but as a huge bray wyatt fan this is up there for me the original fiend bray wyatt elite series 77 this was such a huge deal for me as a bray wyatt fan when when the fiend started i was on board i loved the whole idea of the fun house the schizophrenia the the split personality you know, and, and the Fiend being a part of it and, and, and humanizing this demon was just so cool to me. And while the Fiend had a lot of figures, he had ultimates. Yes, I get it, he had ultimates. And this figure was re-released. But I loved the Lantern with this one. And I just thought the presentation on this one as a whole was so much better than the re-release. And I just really liked it. I liked the, the hair colors and just everything about it. The lantern of the Bray Wyatt head, the striped pants, the hurt heel hands, all the tattoo deco was great. The face paint, I mean, the face uh, paint apps on the mask were great. I mean, I just absolutely love this figure. And it's up there for my top five favorite mask figures. And I know people are going to hate that so much, but Bray Wyatt is my favorite wrestler. And uh, I'd, I'd be remiss if, if I left it off because... This, this is such a huge deal to me when this figure came out. And I hunted this down like crazy. And it, it, he was so hot at the time. Literally could not find this in stores. So, Bray Wyatt the Fiend from Elite Series 77. It's a great figure. Whether you like the Fiend, the concept, the wrestler, Bray Wyatt, what have you. Whether you like it or not, this is a great figure. And Mattel knocked it out of the park. I mean, look at the chest deco with the paint. I mean, with the tattoos. I mean, they, the, the body mold, everything about it was excellent. And I absolutely love this figure. I think we're tainted with Fiend, with Fiend figures now, but this was an excellent, excellent figure. That said, masked figures weren't really a thing in like the LJNs, um, even in the Hasbros. I mean, looking at this, like there's not really any masked figures other than the Repo Man. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, we're not counting removable masks. We're not counting face paint as a mask. That's separate. All right. And obviously, there was stuff in CMLL, AAA. But for me, a mass figure that stands out from my childhood is the BCA Mankind. And I thought that figure was excellent. But something that was special to me was when Jax decided to include a removable mask with Mankind. And I, this was just a game changer for me. Excuse the paint on my finger. Um, they, they really captured the mask very, very well. And the way that they made it fit, it actually really worked and fit the head sculpt and looked great on the figure. I absolutely loved it. And I loved how they did like the, 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 the pant mold and, and, and the shirt and the hands were great with the, the forearm hair. I mean, there was just some great figures 
This one had Sako. This had the original Mankind head. This is probably my favorite Mankind masked figure, though. The Signature Series, because they actually got the correct sweatpant mold. They got, like, the dirt and grime on the shirt. Very, very cool. So, Mankind is definitely, from the BCA line, number four on my top five mass figures list but i'm gonna have to go with the original released uh maskless mankind where you could remove the mask it's just a fun uh fun little feature for a kid so there's a lot of great mankinds but i'm gonna go with this one next up number three on the list this is a new figure and i'm pretty excited about it there's certain mass wrestlers that you can't leave off the list, right? And one of them is Vader. And his most recent elite, right here, from the Royal Rumble Build-A-Figure Doc Hendricks set, is excellent. From the red boots to the gear, it's got Vader time, he's got his V-hands, but my favorite part is the head. This is the best Vader head, in my opinion, I love all Vader figures, okay? I love the Legends figure. I love the re-release Legend figure. The removal mask, very, very cool touch. However, sculpting is always going to look better for the most part. I know I just said I like the removable mask on Mankind. That's a nostalgia thing for me. I loved removing it. As an adult, I want sculpted. It always looks better. And they nailed his likeness here with this sculpted head for vader look at that looks just like him the mask looks so authentic you can see the stitching the hair the true effects on it everything about this is absolutely incredible so the new elite royal rumble build a figure doc hendrix vader is number three on my list such a great figure as the second i saw it i was like this is one of my favorite new favorite elites it's absolutely freaking incredible and since we're talking about wrestlers who need to be on the list, being mass wrestlers, one of them being Kane. Now, Kane's had a lot of great figures. He's had some old Jax figures where you could remove the mask and kind of see what he may or may not look like. But I think the figure that needs to be on the list is this one. The WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition Kane. This is the Ultimate Kane. I think they nailed his size. I love the heads on this. Even though they're not too different, I love the heads on this. It's ultimate. It's tall. It's massive. It's girthy. It's, it's freaking Kane, man. This thing is awesome. He comes with the WWF title. He comes with the vocoder. He comes in interchangeable hands. But the thing that makes this so awesome to me is the cape. Yes, I know he never wore the cape on television, uh, in any, any televised matches. However, at one point I was doing an interview on a podcast and they asked me, who would I like to see in the ultimate line? And my answer was Kane. And they said, but what can you do with Kane? It's not really a figure that can be very ultimate other than putting him in the articulated body. I said, I want the cape. Give me the cape. I know he never wore it, but it's an amazing accessory that's never been done. Give me the cape. And about a year, maybe a year and a half later, we got the freaking cape. I can't believe it. I don't know if they heard me on the show or whatnot. Because um, I know Steve, you know, follows me and such. But I was blown away. And I'm so happy we got it. This is number two on my list. With that said, we're going to talk about number one. I've said for a long time how much I love this figure. It's Elite Series 67, Rey Mysterio Jr. from Halloween Havoc. This figure is perfect. Now, I don't care about the stand. I don't care about the incorrect title. This figure, though. The Phantom style. The purple. It pops. All the deco. The gold. I love the head that they used. Look at the wrist gauntlets absolutely incredible everything about this figure pops for me they nailed everything the only thing that would have made this better is if they gave him a new head sculpt with the torn eyelid but honestly you don't even need it you don't even need it 
He doesn't need to have the battle damage. If they ever re-release this, give us an additional head with the battle damage head. But this figure is perfect. It's probably my, not probably, it is my favorite Rey Mysterio figure that I own. Absolutely incredible, and he's had some great ones. But this one takes the cake. So let's recap. Number five on my list, Elite Series 77 Bray Wyatt. Number four on my list, BCA Mankind with a removable mask. Number three on my list, Royal Rumble Elite Build-A-Figure Doc Hendricks, Doc Hendricks Vader. Let me get him in there. There you go. Number two on my list, Ultimate Edition Kane with the cape. And number one, Elite 67 Rey Mysterio. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know your favorite top five masked figures. Head over to Amazon.com or click the link below to pick up the ultimate wrestling figure checklist. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel and www.WhatHeel.com to join Whatnot and get $15 off your first purchase. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Want to turn your collection from this into this? Then head over to Whatnot. Whatnot is a community marketplace with live stream auctions. See exactly what you're buying before you get it. Auctions starting at just $1. You can interact with sellers, celebrities, fans. It's safe and secure and has grail pieces for steel prices. So click the link in description below to join now and receive $10 towards your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Big Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Big Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.